I'm here today with a review of the More Pro Fitness Tracker. If you know anything at all about my fitness tracker reviews, you're going to know I'm going to un unbox this quickly to show you what's in the box and then go charge it up and wear it for a few days and then come back with a review. It's got a band. It's got the device itself. This, uh, the band will pop on to this and then this is what you put into a USB uh, charging station to charge it up. Some instructions, user manual, FAQs, and uh, I just pressed the button here and the device actually came on. So it's got some charge in it already to start with. Um, nice display. Uh, let me get in it, play with it, wear it a few days, and do my review. Okay, so this is basically a one button setup where you either short press or long press the one button on the bottom, and that will take you through all of the screens. Uh, you've got the clock, which there's about five or seven different watch faces you can actually upload it. You can change the colors and there's some slightly different designs. Um, there's your total number of steps per day, total mileage walked, uh, your calorie burn, running. Now you can track your activity, but you have to have location services on your phone uh, turned on. This is not a GPS watch, so keep that in mind. It is not a standalone GPS device. Uh, it will track your sleep. It tracks your heart rate. Uh, you can set it in uh, continuous monitor mode or on demand by pressing that button. Uh, the thing in my mind that sets this uh, low end, I put this in the category of low end fitness trackers. The one feature that sets this one apart from the rest is the ability to do blood pressure. Uh, you go into this mode and it will take your blood pressure and then of course you can turn it off you get to that off uh, button just hold it a long press and it'll turn it off and then to turn it back on you just press and hold and it will come back on so i like the looks of the watch okay we come into the app here and it's called h band 2 it's a pretty reasonable looking app. I like the uh, layout of it. It gives you an overview at the very front page here on your dashboard of your total number of steps, your number of hours of sleep. It will track or, or give you a trace of the amount of steps you uh, took over the course of the day so you know your active uh, periods versus your sedentary periods. Here's your sleep analysis. I like this very much. Seems to do a pretty good job. Um, where it will go through and tell you your total amount of sleep, your light sleep, and the amount of deep sleep. And you can scroll through and go back through the days. It gives you a sleep quality score for each of those. Um, so I really like this. You, go, you can go back a screen here to the main dashboard. Keep scrolling down here. It gives us our heart rate. I've got mine set up. I've been wearing this for a week now. I've had it set up to do continuous heart rate monitoring. And I charged it last uh, Saturday, I think when I first got it. And it's been running all week and I haven't recharged it. Today is the following Friday, so uh, almost seven days without recharging it. So that's pretty good battery life. Uh, now I'm guessing if you um, do a lot more with it and track your running and whatnot, the battery won't last you that long. But uh, definitely you're going to get at least two or three days of battery life out of this, which is pretty good. Uh, I, the feature, I think, sets this watch apart, this fitness tracker. Again, I consider this sort of the low end in fitness tracking for simple devices that I paid $44.99 for it on Amazon. Um, but this feature, I think, sets it apart. It's the blood pressure, um, either on demand or continuous monitoring, where it will track your blood pressure over time while you sleep. And so you can look through the you know middle of the night and see what your blood pressure is here. I'm 110 over 73. And then when you're up and active, uh, you, you can see your blood pressure go up. You know, I don't know how accurate this is. It's probably not medical grade. But I think the way to use this is you look at your trends and uh, you kind of use it as a baseline monitoring to know when your uh, blood pressure spikes up, if and when it spikes up. Um, and in the middle here, this column, you see it's a little blood pressure gauge. And if your blood pressure is in a normal range, it's green. And then up here toward the top, uh, it's in the yellow range. Uh, that means it's kind of on the high side of things, which, you know, uh, is going to happen over the course of the day, depending on how physically active you are. 
And again, you can scroll back through the days and monitor this. You know, in my mind, this is what makes this fitness tracker an excellent value for sub $50 is the ability to do heart, uh, I'm sorry, blood pressure on demand and also um, a continuous tracking of blood pressure. There are a number of options in here where there are a number of different watch faces. You can push message notifications. You can set an alarm to vibrate to wake you up. It's got a sedentary reminder, so if you're sitting still too long, it will vibrate and tell you to get up and move. A heart rate alarm, I suppose that's if your heart rate goes up very high, it will uh, set off some alarm and warn you. Turn the wrist, so if you flick the wrist, uh, it will turn on automatically. I've got that turned off to save battery life. Um, a number of other settings here. It's got a countdown feature where it's uh, essentially sort of like a stopwatch where it will count down uh, from a preset number of uh, minutes that you put into it. Overall, I really like how this app is laid out. My two favorite features here are the, the sleep monitoring and tracking and, and analysis and also the uh, continuous blood pressure measurement. Okay, on the main screen, we can go into the blood pressure mode here and do, do a record or record the blood pressure. I'm going to press that button. Gets me into this screen where I press play. And now it's actually taking my blood pressure. I'm going to let this roll in real time here so you can see how long it takes. Uh, I'm guessing it's about a 20 to 30 second measurement. And my blood pressure is probably going to be high because I just got back from the gym and actually uh, downed a cup of coffee. So uh, I don't expect it to be low at this point, but I just want you to see how long this measurement takes. You can do this on demand and then store it so you get your trends over time. Uh, there you go, very high. <laughs> yes, I want to save that data. Okay, so I can track that over time, keep a record of it, and see what my blood pressure is doing. So I paid about $45 for this. Uh, now, regular disclaimer, I bought this on Amazon for that amount, but the company contacted me and said they would reimburse me in exchange for an honest review, and that's what this is. Uh, so I believe this more pro fitness tracker is a really good it's a really good value for the money I highly recommend it um, again in the sub fifty dollar fitness tracker uh, market I believe what sets this one apart is the fact uh, that it does your blood pressure and will do blood pre uh, continuous blood pressure monitoring okay now for what I consider the uh, fun part of this review I've never actually done this before but this device is actually waterproof and uh, I'm going to drop it in my water here. We can see that the, the display stays on. All right, maybe the button's not quite as responsive as it would be out of the water, uh, but it still functions just fine and uh, no problems whatsoever. So it's a waterproof device, which is not easy to find. So again, that just adds kind of to the good value of this device. More Pro, two thumbs up, I like it. Um, I would recommend it to anybody in the uh, sub $50 fitness tracker market. You know what to do. If you like this review, click like, and I'm gonna put a link below so you can click through on my Amazon affiliate link and purchase this and I'll get a little piece of the uh, pie without it costing you anything extra. All right, until next time, take care.